I'm pretty sure I left my mic in Arizona, so if the sound quality on this is not the best, I do apologize. Hey people, I am literally sitting here for a reason. For some reason, my feet are really cold and I'm wearing socks. You can see them right there. However, I'm sitting here with a blanket over me, so I might just like become Batman in the middle of this video. This week, I wanted to do more of a laid back video, I guess. I've done one story time ever in my life and I'm never gonna become a story time channel because to be honest, nothing interesting ever happens in my life but when something does I like to talk about it sometimes so I'm gonna tell you about when I got locked out of my house for jack-in-the-box yeah this recently happened and if you follow me on Twitter which you probably do because like nobody knows me off Twitter <laughs> then you would know about this story more than likely let's set the scene I was on TeamSpeak with my friend Joey and we were watching Gen X pen and Alex I just stuttered a little bit. They did videos where they went and tried I can't speak English. Alex and Jen went to a bunch of different fast food places on Valentine's Day and tried different fast food and we were laughing because we just love them as people. I was like, I really want fast food and then Joey was like, okay. The only problem with this was that it was 12 a.m. My parents don't care if I leave, but waking them up, especially because my dad had work in the morning, or no, he didn't have work in the morning, but still, I didn't want to wake them up. And my mom was gone. But there's a couple of things that could have waken them up. The garage door, which I wasn't planning on going through the garage door, and the dog barking, unlocking the door of the dog could have heard it and barked. So I avoided these two things by number one, not using the garage door. I wasn't planning on using the garage door. And then number two, I literally snuck into my parents' room and picked up the dog and took him with me. That was how I avoided that. So I left. My door you can lock from the inside before you leave, so you lock it as you're leaving. So I was gonna do that because why would I want to leave my door unlocked? I don't know. Here's where it got interesting. I left and I locked the door from the inside like how you would as if you're leaving with the dog. I kid you not, as soon as I stepped out of the door, I realized I didn't have house keys on me. At this point in time, I was like, what am I gonna do? I, this sucks. Whatever, I mean, I gotta go get Jack in the Box, so I went. That in itself was an experience because my dog gets extremely car sick. He's a little Pomeranian Chihuahua. I mean, he's not little, he's probably like that big. I don't know. He's a great dog, but he has anxiety and gets car sick. So these two things mixed. I'm not even kidding, the Jack in the Box is like five minutes away from me, and this dog almost threw up in my car after I got my food, which was like $8. And by the way, $8 is a lot of money for a fast food place. Like, why? Anyways, after I got my food, I had to swoop into the parking lot and park really badly just so I could try to get my dog to throw up outside of the car, which he wouldn't. It was a difficult time, so I just drove home, one hand on the wheel, one hand petting him, telling him it's gonna be okay. You know, just how you would reassure somebody who is about to go into their final or, you know, just... Anyways, I drive back. Thankfully, the dog did not bark in my car because I would have been extremely mad about that. Because I could have sworn that I locked the door, I didn't go ahead and try it just because that would cause excess noise. At this point, I had already accepted that I was probably maybe gonna get in trouble. I plan on just opening the garage door just a teensy bit so it would just make a little bit of sound and then I would like rick roll under the garage and then like turn it, put it, close it. Yep, I tried to do this. And our garage door, if it's only brought up a little bit, like enough to get under it, it just automatically goes down. This wasn't gonna be an option. After already making that noise, I just decided, screw it, I'm gonna have to open the garage door all the way and then close the garage door all the way. So I did that and then I realized I went to go inside the house through the door that's connected to the garage and that door was locked. I was like, great, I'm gonna have to break into my house at 1 a.m. and I'm probably gonna get killed. My dog is just like running around, like I don't know what to do. So I attempted to break into my house. I have broken into my house many times. I know how, just because I live there, obviously. However, all the times that I've done it, I've had the appropriate tools to do it. This time, I didn't. And this time, it was at night. And to give you an idea, my father is a very heavily secure person. We secure our house very well and if my dad was to hear someone trying to break in, they probably wouldn't be in the best state of their life because, let's be real, I don't want to know what my dad would do. I was actually super scared of my dad accidentally thinking that I was somebody trying to break in and then him not knowing that it was me, so I tried really hard to be super quiet, but I could not break into the house the way that I usually would just because, number one, it was causing too much noise, and number two, I just couldn't do it because I couldn't because, yeah. Now, here's where I had to make a decision. There was no way I was getting into 
to the house unless I woke up my dad and I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to get in trouble and I would rather sleep on a cactus than get in trouble with my dad. I am lucky because we have a trailer at our house and I was able to sleep in there. However, this trailer does not have running water. Not to mention I was wearing shorts like pajama shorts and a t-shirt so you can only imagine how that went. It was super cold but the trailer was alright. The bed in the trailer was filled with a bunch of crap. Thank the Lord I was able to sleep there and move some of it. I had like this much space and my dog slept on top of me but hey at the end of the day at least it got jack in the box. So I woke up the next morning. I wanted to get in my house as soon as my dad woke up so I went to do that. I woke up and my dad was like what are you doing? Why are you outside? Left to get food last night and I locked myself out and so I slept in the trailer and he was like what? And then here's the funny part. My dad goes but the door was open all night. I had apparently not locked the front door after I left, which I could have sworn, I'm not even kidding, I'm not like that stupid in that sense, I could have sworn I locked that door, but apparently I didn't. So the entire night of me struggling for like an hour or an hour and a half of trying to figure out how I'm gonna get in my house and turning on the garage door and all this stuff, which didn't wake him up by the way, the door was open the whole time. And that's my story of probably one of the funniest yet dumbest things I have done in my life. <laughs> because as I mentioned before, I don't really do anything. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this story. I just thought I would share it with people because I think it's hilarious the fact that I slept in a trailer. If you ever had any similar experiences of being locked out of your house, let me know because I'd love to hear them. I don't know what I would have done if we didn't have a trailer. Probably would have slept in my car. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Sometimes I don't know what to say for the outro because I don't want to like accidentally subconsciously copy somebody else's outro. So I'm gonna say peace y'all. Pretty sure nobody says that in their outro, but now I do.